Um, and we like that idea of basically going in and trading for one or two hours per day and then enjoying our day. It's simply just trading in the morning, trading in the open and trading to market. Keeping it simple, but it's effective. So Michael Vizek, welcome to the podcast. How's it going today? It's going great. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. How are you? Good, good, good. Awesome. It's a pleasure to have you here, of course. Where are you located in, by the way? I'm in Aberdeen, Scotland, in the UK. Okay. So I, I come from Poland initially, but yeah, I live in Scotland, have lived here most of my life. So that's where I am right now. Cool. Perfect. So the reason why we wanted to have you on the podcast is because you went to the FTMO challenge. You became a funded trader through FTMO. And I think that's cool to talk about. So we'll talk about like your, your journey, what you went through. And maybe you explain with FTMO what happened, how did that go? And some advice for people that want to do the same and be able to get funded by a prof firm, FTMO or something else. So for people that don't, don't know you, they probably don't know you now, but tell people who you are and give us a bit of background about yourself. Of course, yes. So my name is Michael Biesek. I'm 23 years old. As I said, I currently live in Scotland in Aberdeen. Um, I've been trading for around five years now, on and off. Um, I began trading when I was 18 years old. I was sort of introduced into binary options, which, as you know, is a bit of a red flag. But back then, I was 18, not really sure what I wanted to do. And um, I was sort of promised and attracted to the get rich quick scheme, as most people do, basically. So I quickly learned it's not that easy, obviously. It um, takes a lot of work to basically become profitable. And made a few mistakes in binary options, and I quickly quit that. And I decided to go back to the drawing board, basically. and. I sort of started watching YouTube videos on trading and quickly found the sort of reliable and trustworthy people I can follow. And essentially what I did was I found the best people in the business and learned a bit from every one of them. And that's how I essentially over the years kept practicing and got better in trading. And now I finally found my edge and can trade comfortably. Okay. How was the learning curve to be able to learn to trade? Did you have like a lot of ups and downs or did that go fairly smoothly? Um, it was sort of ups and downs because um, I never had a structured learning process. I basically dove right into it and I, I never really learned the basics and then take it from there. I sort of watched a video, opened a demo account, tried one or two things and then kind of went back to the beginning again and then moved a bit forward. So it was not really structured and that was my biggest mistake. It, took me that long because um, I kept going back and forth basically. So my learning process was a bit of a emotional curve if you like, um, but I suppose if I never done what I did, I would not be where I am today. So I don't regret anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, of course. And when did you come across the idea that you could get funded by a firm like a prof firm to trade for them? It was basically obviously one of the biggest problems for traders is not having the capital to trade. It's not very easy finding, for example, $50,000 to trade with. So I didn't really, initially that was not my plan. I, I basically planned to slowly build my capital and save and reinvest and save and reinvest. Um, but a couple of months back, I think it was about six months ago, you had an interview with Otakar Stockner from FTMO. So I sort of came across that firm and that kind of opened my eyes to the whole on the trader programs. And I didn't realize there were so many of them. I, I usually had the belief that to become a prop trader, you have to basically get qualifications, you have to get hired by a company and physically trade with them. However, obviously coming across FTMO, I realized that as long as I can trade and I can prove that I can trade, I can become funded. So the idea came about roughly about six months ago. And ever since then, I basically worked to fine tune my system and, and basically get more confidence in my trading to basically pass the tests. And what made you go with FTMO and not any other prof firm? Why that one? I think FTMO, in my opinion, and from what I could see was kind of the most popular one. I know there's obviously a lot of them, but FTMO to me also, I just basically researched them the most. And I really like the idea how there's only one time fee and you get the fee back. And I just basically have FTMO was the first one that came across my radar and I did most of my research in that firm basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. So then I guess you get there one day, you have your system fine tuned that works well and you really take the challenge with FTMO. How do you feel back then to kind of begin the challenge? I was a bit nervous because, I mean, back then, I haven't had that much live experience in trading. Most of my trading was sort of done on demo, and even though I've traded live before, and I know what it's like, I know the emotions, basically, it, it takes to trade live. And so I was a bit nervous with that. But then again, I had a really good system, and I knew I backtested it. So having confidence in my system basically allowed me to execute my system very well. And essentially, I didn't have to change anything. 
And what is about TMO? Because it's such a big opportunity to trade with someone else's money and actually be able to live on trading. My actual, my actual um, risk management was a lot better because obviously they have certain criteria to meet in order to get funded. So having that in place allowed me to become a much better risk manager. Become allowed me to basically stick to my plan a lot better because I knew that at the end of the at the end of the tunnel, there is a big opportunity for me. So I I made no mistakes basically, and that's the great thing about doing a test like that because it really it's such a big opportunity that, in my opinion, in my case especially, it removed all the sort of trying to overtrade, trying to trade without thinking basically just just stick to the plan. And that's how I think FTMO is, is big with the whole challenge thing. How long did it take you to achieve the uh, challenge target with FTMO? Um, well, the challenge, obviously, the minimum trading days for the challenge and verification is 10 days. And actually, when I started trading the challenge, it was back in March. So that was at the very beginning of the whole kind of the biggest moves in the markets because of coronavirus. And so quite luckily for me, I managed to catch some really big moves. And I actually managed to pass verification and well, challenge and verification in 20 days. So I did it in the minimum amount of time they require you to do it and again it's mostly down to the increased volatility i from my own system i thought it would take me about three months the maximum amount it takes but because the moves were so much greater i managed to capitalize on that basically looking back at your challenge did you make any mistake that you would like to have done differently anything that you would change if you were to do it again not the challenge actually no it's, again because because having those parameters in place they ask you to stick to those rules and because i knew but if I do really well on this challenge and test, I get basically I get to become a trader full time. I didn't make any mistakes because to me that opportunity was so great. And also because I trade with my trading partner, we keep each other accountable. So every time we trade, we basically make a conference in the morning. And we we don't execute any trades or any changes until we both basically agree on it. So I luckily I haven't made any mistakes during the challenge and hopefully I can continue doing so going forward as well. I think that's a great idea to be able to trade with a partner or someone to get more accountability. That, that That's pretty awesome. And I, I think people don't do that enough, but you doing it is like super good. So how do you find that that partner? I'm just curious. I mean, we, we met at work and we met at work and basically we quickly clicked because we are both ambitious in what we do. So we both have big ambitions to achieve success in life basically. And we had similar interests. So basically we both enjoy going to the gym and working out. So we started working out together and obviously going at the gym, gym requires discipline. And I'm very lucky because my trading partner, he's one of the most disciplined people I've ever met. And um, he's just, when he puts his mind to something, he will continue working towards it, he achieves it. So it was basically a great story because I kind of, I sort of had the trading knowledge and skills and he had the discipline. And together we could work on something great and basically together achieve trading success. So a bit like the story of Mike Bellafiori and his best friend starting SMB Capital. That's kind of what inspired me to basically work on something with your best friend. And if you can do that, it's, I think the potential is amazing. So that's what happened. That's awesome. Cool. So you pass the challenge. Then what happens after you pass the challenge with the FTMO or any, I guess in your platform? What's next? So after the challenge, obviously, for the stage two, which is the verification. So um, it took maybe two or three days for them to verify your challenge to basically, I'm guessing they go over your trades and you get uh, the sort of analyze your trading performance on your challenge. They, sort of, they send you an analysis of your account basically and they see what you're doing good, what you could maybe improve on. And then you do the verification, which obviously the verification is, they require you to um, make a smaller return in twice as long of a time period. So you get two months instead of one. And basically after the verification was complete and um, there was a, a few contracts to sign, we had to sign contracts to obviously trade with them and fill out some more information. And it, took, it wasn't a long process at all. It was but fairly quickly we had our account and we were ready to trade live. Nice. And then they refund the challenge fee and they give you the money to trade with, right? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So basically the challenge fee is refunded once you get your first profit split. Um, so in our case, it was back the May the 15th. We had our profit split day. And you receive an email from them and you basically have to fill out an invoice. And um, because again, you need the invoice for their own records. And also if you are for your own country you need to pay tax, you need the invoice for records. So you send an invoice to them basically and you get a, a few options how you want your money to receive. And literally within two days, we had our um, account, we had our account fee, the challenge fee paid back to us as well as the 
payment to your account is only 50 days. So I think that's very good. Awesome. That's good. Did you have any doubts about FTMO before you started? Like, I don't know if people want to trade with that prof firm or any other prof firm, but they're not sure if it's legit or, or whatever. Did you have these doubts as well? Sure. Yeah. I mean, at the beginning, obviously, because how my journey was, typically I find out if it sounds to, if it sounds too good to be true, it normally is. And again, because I had this vision that working for a prop firm, it has to be very, you know, it has to be like something like a New York Wall Street firm or something. It has to, you have to go through years of education to get into it. I do have some doubts because I'm like, well, I feel I can do the challenge. What, what they're setting me to do, I can definitely do it myself. But I had some skepticism because, well, at the beginning, yeah, it, it sounded too good to be true. And but then I thought to myself, I'm only risking about 400 euros. I've spent 400 euros on, on like silly little signals in the past, which was some of the mistakes I made. So I'm like 400 euros here, and if I lose out on that, it's not really that much money to lose out on. And obviously, they are. They've got so many um, testimonials. They've got so many um, proofs of um, payments that I it was a lot more trustworthy. But yeah, as as you said, many people have kept it in towards them, and I was one of them. But I was willing to take the risk because I think the opportunity is just fantastic. So I was willing to take the risk. Mm -hmm. Ramin, if I if I'm wrong, but you you, you made your payment with uh, PayPal, right? For the challenge. That's correct. Yeah. 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 So. Um, that allows you to kind of get a refund more easily in case something goes wrong and they don't deliver the service or whatever. I think it's quite easy to get a refund with PayPal. So that's actually of course, a yeah, thing. That's, that's, that's one thing. Yeah, that's one thing we look at as well. My, my trading partner, we, we, we saw the opportunity to pay with PayPal and we know how PayPal are very good on, in solving cases of people being frauded or something. So having PayPal there was definitely a big thing because we even thought to ourselves, if they, do end up, if they do end up being scammers, we could get our money back anyway. But... So PayPal does is a bit of a piece of mind having PayPal there. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. So what would be a few, a, a few resources you can recommend to people that either want to become profitable traders or maybe they want to kind of uh, apply for a prof firm and then succeed with a prof firm? What should they kind of go see or listen to? Do you have any idea, like any books or any site or, or whatever to recommend people? I mean, in my case, well, one of them was your podcast. I've been listening to your podcast for, for a few years now. And, I've, and from your podcast, I've managed to find people I end up following in the end as well. So I personally followed Andrew Aziz, um, a stock trader with Bearable Traders. He owns that company. I like their approach because they share a lot of free information on YouTube. I've also followed Jason Grayson for a long time. You've also have to had him on your podcast. Um, so he's, he's a great person to learn from as well. But really just surrounding yourself with people with the same vision as yourself. Um, it's, it's really forex and trading in general is a, quite a lonely game. And I tried to do it myself at the beginning, thinking I could do it better than everyone else, which obviously is not the case. It's, it's, it's a very lonely game. So if you can find people, um, you know, join communities on Facebook. Obviously yourself, you've got one on Facebook as well. Join communities and listen to podcasts. And um, there's a lot of free information. And obviously the, the best thing to do would be just to basically become part of a community where you have any questions, you can just ask people. Awesome. Yeah, I definitely appreciate we'll put a link below for that uh, Facebook group and the, the podcast. People know where, where it is for sure, but just in case, it's awesome. Cool. So uh, what is next for you then? What are your goals for trading and where do you want to get to exactly? Uh, well, we actually just, so initially we just went for, um, we applied for the $50,000 challenge uh, with FTMO and obviously we've been trading with that amount. So with FPMO, you can apply for accounts up to $300,000. So actually, some of our um, initial profit we got from them, we immediately reinvested into the new challenge. So we're basically, we now wait to start a new challenge as of Monday to get $100,000 more. Because as you know, with trading, it's, it's the more money you have, the more money you can make in trading. It's not really about trying to make 40% a month. It's, it's best to have a big account capital and return three to five percent and that's the most realistic way to trade so our first goal is to basically get as much capital as possible and then going forward is basically starting our own account as well separately and continue trading with FPMO, build our own account basically and perhaps diversify in the future to start trading stocks as well because we really we enjoy trading stocks and we try to build with FPMO. however our style of trading doesn't really work with stocks in FPMO. So going forward, we're probably, again, just diversify a little bit. And I mean, again, we're still quite new to the professional trading game, if you like. So um, 
our basically our mission now is just to grow and become better every day. That's that's the that's the goal. Mm -hmm. And that's a really smart way to do it to be able to invest your profit into the charge after. Because like some people might buy like a and like a new computer or whatever or like a new car or something, but they would much rather invest the money to something useful where they can grow and grow over time. So I think that that's the way to do it. Absolutely, I agree. I mean, yeah, the first thing I did was basically that there was some unnecessary monthly costs I had. And my goal again now is to reduce my monthly costs to basically my journey for financial dependence to become real as fast as possible. So my first goal was to reduce my monthly expenses and then obviously, again, reinvest the profit. And that will be the case for the next few months to, again, grow and become better every day. Mm -hmm. What is your strategy, by the way? What kind of uh, trading style do you have? So we trade them. Um, we only trade two markets. Basically, we trade uh, one forex pair and we trade the DAX. And then that we do, we trade the open, the European open, because again, we live in the UK. So we start our day at 7 a.m. And we basically look for the, what happened overnight. Typically, the Asian session for us is very quiet. So we look for um, potentially sort of like London breakouts on the on the forex pair, GPUSD. And then on the DAX, we basically look at previous day's levels, highs and lows, the close of the previous day and basically we look either it has dropped up or gap down and we look to basically either fill the gap or ride the gap basically it depends what the price action in the morning does but our trading style is very much day trading um, and we like the idea of basically going in and trading for one or two hours per day and then enjoying our day that's something i took away again from your guest andrew Aziz, basically the way he trades stocks we really enjoy that because as he mentioned in his podcast he basically He's done it this day by 8 o'clock in his time zone, and he only trades for an hour or two per day. And we like the idea. We like to do something for trading, but not too much. We don't want to start the computer every day. So again, it's simply just trading in the morning, trading the open, and trading to market. Keeping it simple, but it's effective. Yeah, it's day trading, but in a way that doesn't take much time, and you don't have to be there all day watching the, the, the charts or something. So that's really good. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. Cool. So, Michael, where can people go if they, if they want to connect with you or, or maybe reach out to you and ask for, for a question about FTM or something? Can they connect with you online? I think they can, yeah, they can connect with me online. So, obviously, I'm, I'm on Instagram. I don't really post that much. I've kept my journey private until now. Obviously, just I like to work in silence, basically. But I am on Instagram. That's probably the best way to reach out to me. I believe. I think I sent you a link so we can hopefully post it down below or something. So, I'm on Instagram and I'm happy to speak to people on Instagram. Possibly going forward, I might create a YouTube channel myself or something and speak more in the community. But again, I'm still quite new to this, so I'm at the moment still keeping quite private about things. But I'm happy to help with what I can again on Instagram at the moment. Yeah, that's awesome. I appreciate that a lot. People will maybe just ask you a question if they want to do the same challenge or something. And I think that's awesome. They can grow and maybe you can grow by explaining things too. So that that's awesome. Of course, yeah. I mean, yeah. Teaching other people also teaches yourself as well. So, I mean, even by simply, because obviously I've, I've posted in your group about getting the money and the refund from FTMO. And after that, I've even had quite a few, quite a few people reach out to me. So, um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to help. I'm really happy to help with what I can. And That's really awesome. So, thank you, Michael. I appreciate you a lot. Um, and uh, if you need any help with anything, let me know, of course, and I'll be happy to help. But I'm glad you shared your story and I'm glad that people can, can benefit from this and that they hopefully will get more fun and traders through FTMO and people are happy and achieve their goals. It's awesome. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Well, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Thank you.